Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another reaction video. Today I'm filming some music reactions and I'm excited because even though I just very recently did a reaction to a performance of hers, we are about to check out a new video from Diana and Kudanova. Okay, so as I said, I just recently did a reaction uh, to a performance of hers that took place on a a competitive show where she actually was hiding her face and it wasn't revealed that it was her right away. Um, and it was very fun. It was very fun to check out. And I do appreciate the comments that you guys gave me. First of all, yes, confirming that it definitely officially confirming that that was her, that it was revealed. Um, and also apparently she did other songs for that um, contest as well that are out there. So at some point I might have to check those out. And I guess she also did a version without the mask uh, once it was revealed who she was. So that's all very cool. But this actually is going to be something quite different. Uh, so this is an official music video of of hers. So presumably this is an original piece uh, that she's come up with, what her own song as opposed to a cover. And like I said, it's a music video, so that's somewhat different than what I previously watched, which was her performing live on stage. Uh, so I expect this to be more you know much more produced and we'll see what it's all about it's called winter without snow so i'm excited you know she never lets me down everything of hers that i've ever watched and reacted to i've thoroughly enjoyed so i'm looking forward to it let's check it out together here we go Ooh. Okay, so it's definitely starting out with a very romantic vibe. Oh, look at- Okay, she looks beautiful. We're gonna have a cute little love story. Look how amazing she looks! That dress is beautiful! The guy's gonna be- yeah, I knew it, I knew it! There he is! <laughs> I like the dancing couples with the masks. I love that, the rolling of the R's. It's always, it's cool seeing her get to play piano too. Oof. 
<laughs> that was beautiful right there. Why did the end have to break my heart? Oh! Oh! Oh, God. Okay, so that was winter without snow. Um, so it was very well done. I, I always find it funny, like, when I get so caught up in the storyline of a music video like this. And so a slight disadvantage I think I had that maybe if I had done something somewhat differently, I would have perhaps seen the twist coming a bit. Um, but I didn't, I didn't have a translation up. I didn't have the actual lyrics translated up, so I didn't, didn't know necessarily where it was going. I'm guessing that probably, probably the song is more about heartbreak or like longing, uh, unrequited love, something along those lines, uh, uh, or lost love. So, and it definitely makes sense to me in the context, now that I have that context, thinking back about the, you know, the way that she was singing and the actual musical background to go along with it. But the way that it started out, I was thinking, oh, it's just like a cute little love song, love story uh, that she's telling. But no, no, it ended with heartbreak. <laughs> but did a really excellent job with it. Um, she looked beautiful, like I said, in both the parts where she was just presented as as performing the song, as singing with the dancers and masks in the background, which I thought was an amazing touch. Um, and also in the, the storyline. Uh, so I really liked that we got an opportunity also to see her playing piano, but <sighs> it hurt, man. It hurt. It just seemed like this cute little story of, of she's by coincidence this guy that captivated her caught her attention uh and the coffee shop is then also her partner for this performance and then she's having dreams about him and everything and there's like seems like a spark and then at the end no so i don't know if it's saying like that she actually was apparently with this guy and then that's him cheating or i think it seems more likely that maybe it's like a she was dreaming about him, she had feelings for him, uh, and then she just saw that he was not available or something, and so it was like the kind of longing, unrequited love pain. Uh, but I get so invested in the storylines of these things sometimes, so I was so sad for her. But as for the actual song itself, uh, it was lovely, it was very well done, I enjoyed the tempo, the background music, and the way that she was able to carry it with her vocals. Um, as always, she had her signature style to it. It was in a higher register a lot of the time than, than she sometimes sings, uh, but she did an amazing job with it, and she kind of gave it like a very soft, uh, soft feeling. Um, which sometimes, you know, especially when she's focusing more on her lower register, um, there's a lot of, of force behind her voice, but she was very kind of soft and constrained in this, or restrained, I'd say, not constrained, um, which gave it a gentle feel, which was quite nice. Uh, and of course, she did a great job with it, as she always does. So I thoroughly enjoyed this, even though I was sad at the end. And I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts on both the song itself uh, and the music video. And you can tell me about the storyline, the lyrics behind it, since I didn't uh, look them up ahead of time foolishly. But yeah, as always, also let me know in the comments if you have other suggestions for me for reactions. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.